Hi everyone, I'm an abstract artist and I have let everybody know that I recently moved from downtown Toronto to my new studio in Elmont, Ontario and so many of you have been asking for a quick little tour of my new place so I am going to try and attempt to do that. So let's go inside now. And here we are, the front door. If you notice that lovely screen, yes, I have to replace that. Keep all the bugs out. And here we are. Sorry, it's already a mess because that's what artists do. We make messes. And so here is my studio where I do most of my painting. It's on the right side. And um, I have a ton of windows in this log house here. So it kind of makes filming down here a little bit difficult. But because I have so many pieces of large paintings that I'm working on, it blocks some of the light from the windows, which is helping me out a bit. So these are the ones that I'm working on right now. I have moved to large size pieces, but I always have a ton of pieces in the work. And so I have to get, this is going to be where I store everything. So I have to get some better shelves for this area here. As you can see, I like very large containers. I have what gloss medium there, some heavy gesso, some extra paint brushes, lots of titanium white and window ledges make really good places for my spray paint. And so on this side of the studio is where I have two large tables set up where I do all of my stretching seems to be working out okay this is the first time in my life that i don't have to get down on the ground to stretch really excited about that in this section here this is where i have my printer that i can do g clay prints from however i'm not doing that anymore um, and then i have just my printer here so let's see if i can oh in this section here there's the strange mysterious door that is actually a bathroom, but it's kind of creepy because all the walls are dark and I have severe arachnophobia. So it's been a bit of an adjustment period. Um, so, so I'm not using that bathroom right now. Uh, so this is going to be turned into where I store all of my finished paintings, my stretchers that still need to be stretched. Um, I have a whole shelf here of a whole bunch of canvases some are finished some are not and so I have other paintings here that I have stretched and I probably should have cleaned up before I did this but and as you know here is my lady I haven't found a home for her yet so this is my other side entrance and that this leads into the I guess the foyer I guess if you're American it's a foyer if you're Canadian, it's a foyer. Um, so this is where I would probably invite people in. And this is my, originally was a dining room. I have turned it into my living room because the log house where I'm painting is actually the living room. Windows everywhere. probably should have cleaned up <laughs> this is this is my I still have to unpack room which will eventually be my kitchen this is another storage room still lots of work to do out here I'm going to take you outside here and if you look over yonder because now I'm like country girl I can say yonder this is the horse riding arena here that my sister built. Well, my brother-in-law built. I'm going to walk you over to my sister's favorite part of this yard. And it's going to take me a little while to get there. This is the outdoor area and her lovely gardens she has a green thumb i do not 
Well, I probably would, but again, I hate spiders, so this is not my favorite thing to do. Gardening? No thanks. But, absolutely gorgeous. Her little pergola. We can sit out here, watch people ride. Have a barbecue, picnic. I'm back in the house. This is a shot coming in from the back way. Take you upstairs for a quick tour. Lots of work still needs to be done in this house. It was built in the mid 1840s. Okay, so just coming up the stairs. Sorry for making you dizzy. This is a hallway. It's a huge hallway. And this is where I set up my room, my bedroom. Yes, there's a sink in here. It's so cute. And this is the original part of the log house. This is why I chose this room. Oh, and who's that? There's Abby. This is the spare room. I still have work to do in here, but I love this little vintage bed. And again, another sink. Yay! I don't know why that excites me, but it does. And here is the bathroom. Wrong light. Keep going down the hallway we go eventually all this wallpaper will go yes this is one more bedroom that's a sofa bed in a chest and then this room here is where my sister is working out of we just got some new things put in here we still have way more to do as she's still building her office but how great is this view here? Are you kidding me? What? And this is gonna be turned into slash her office and my new YouTube video room, which is gonna be really great. I can keep everything set up. The lights in here are absolutely fantastic with this huge bay window, squeaky floor. There is a ensuite in here as well, which is in here, but this room needs to be gutted and updated. So that's why I didn't choose this. I didn't choose this room because arachnophobia. Uh, and here is the second stairwell, which is really kind of cool too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. It's probably a little bit echoey in this room. We don't have all of our stuff in here yet. I only moved June, June 2nd, so we still have a ton of do to get this house. A ton of do? A ton of do. We still have a ton of do. We still have a ton to do to get this place ready, to turn it into what we are hoping for in the future. Um, stay tuned for that update. More to come. Thanks everybody. See you all next week.